What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to volume three of my Ultimate Knife Mods community competition. What is going on? Um, well, I have decided to start this, you know, five volume series where uh, you guys as the community send me your pictures of your knife mods and I kind of go through them and pick the ones that I think are really cool and uh, I choose five per volume and then I share them with you guys in a way that hopefully is both informative and entertaining. The cool part is, is that uh, you guys are going to be voting down in the comment section of each of these volumes um, and uh, the winner of each of the five volumes will be included at the end, a final volume six. We'll put them all together and then you guys will vote one final time and uh, the absolute winner will win an awesome prize. But that's not all. You guys uh, that are voting down in the comment section, um, your vote also counts as an entry for your own prize. So just by voting, you can actually uh, enter to win a, a separate awesome prize. What are the details to all this? It sounds like there's more information. There is. Uh, the original episode of this explains everything. Um, all of the, you know, like the prizes and all of that, and then how to, if you have a knife mod, you want to enter in this community competition, uh, how do you enter? Well, the details of that are also in that upload. I'm going to link that upload right at the top of the description. So if you want to uh, be a part of this, make sure that you watch that upload so you know exactly how to submit a photo to me so that it can be considered uh, for Ultimate Knife Mods. Uh, today... Volume 3, some really cool stuff in here. Um, really excited to share this with you guys. We're going to go through here, 1 through 5, and I'm going to just offer some commentary. Uh, keep in mind, when you vote, make your comment clear and simple. Uh, for example, my vote is for number 3, is an excellent way to leave that comment. Uh, if you type up something like, well, I considered number 1, really enjoyed number five, but ultimately landed on number four. That's the wrong way to do that. Uh, the website that I'm using to um, basically count up the votes and things, when it goes, it automatically goes through the comments since there's so many. Uh, if you include multiple numbers, it messes up how that works. So make sure that when you leave your comment, you're just including one number. If you want to type up, you know, a whole bunch of stuff and how you came to your conclusion, that's fine. But don't include multiple numbers in your reply. Just the number that you want to vote for. That way it's actually tallying the correct uh, numbers there. So anyways, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below as well. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and start off here with uh, one from some familiar folks. Actually, I've been friends with these guys since my first, it seems like since my first days on YouTube. These are uh, knife modders on Instagram. This, this one stuck out to me. And, uh, you know, there's not anything massively complicated going on here, but the reason I grabbed it, this is I have a, an odd attraction to green anno when it's done really well. And this just, it's just like a, somebody packed color into a cannon and just blasted it at my face. This is the Urban EDC Supply F5.5, which is an amazing knife. That also, I'm sure that's why this jumped out at me. Uh, the mods are a bead blasted, uh, I'm sorry, bead blasted scales and hardware. We have green anno on the scales, pink anodized pivot screws, and then, sorry, guys, I mashed your text together a little bit there to get it to fit and make sure that it was readable, so that was my fault, not their fault. Uh, high voltage, blur pull, clip, and remaining hardware. Really, really nice looking. <coughs> I know that not everybody's going to agree with me, but this stood out to me and was just beautiful. The mods don't necessarily have to be massively complicated in order for me to, you know, want to include them. I just, there are certain looks that work with certain models, and this is one of them. So, very cool. This is going to be number one. Obviously, I'm going to urge you to wait till the end of the upload to make your vote, but this will be knife number one. Moving on here to knife number two. This is a CRKT Pilar, or Pilar, depending on... I've, I honestly still don't know how to pronounce that. Um, copper plated and distressed clip and blade, textured spine, scales, clip and spacer, copper plated and patinaed scales by at gummy bear underscore blades. I'm going to guess this guy did this all entirely on his own. Now, some of you guys like the distressed looks, some of you don't. 
I think just as the case with all things, uh, it can be done really well, and it also can be done like, you know, it can just look like wet bear crap, you know? So in this case, I think it actually looks really good. Now we've got a couple of images here. I'm gonna kind of zoom in on, let you guys take a look. Um, I, I really like how this was looked. This, this really is, you know, it looks like something that was actually beat up and maybe left in the earth or stuck in a tree for a few decades. Um, it's really cool. I also really like that he just left the hardware. <laughs> Like, that's really nice. Everything looks so naturally distressed. Um, I thought that it was really impressive. And the, the cool thing is, this is a great example of somebody who likely did this on their own. We have a couple more images here. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're going to do this on your own, you're going to get a Dremel and various other things and do this kind of stuff on your own. The CRKT Pilar is a fantastic example of a knife that's probably a good one to start with. Because if you screw it up, you're not really out that much. Um, so, but you know, it's a great example of how something like as boring, in my opinion, as the Pilar can really turn into something, you know, mega cool if you've got the skill and the patience, right? But if you're gonna learn, great one to learn, a uh, great uh, type of knife to learn on. It's just, this is just really, really cool. Look at that, how he did the pocket clip. Everything, like, it blends so well together. It really does look like it was just left <laughs> out in the elements, you know, I like it. Not everybody's going to like it, but you know, hey, that's kind of the idea here. Lots of different mods, lots of different knives, different designs, things like that. Moving on here. Oh, we're not all the way zoomed out. Sorry. Moving on here. We're still not all the way. There we go. Moving on here. This is knife number two, by the way, this here CRKT Pilar. Moving on to number three. Oh boy. Wow. Uh, this is a Benchmade Griptilian 550, just a regular 550 Griptilian. Scales, stonewashed CNC aluminum, personally designed scales. Uh, the clip is a CNC titanium and uh, the pivot is a custom titanium pivot. Uh, Instagram is at I make things uh, underscore. Make sure you guys put that underscore in there. And then his YouTube is called I make things. The reason this stuck out to me is because my brain was like, um, this is a Spyderco uh, uh, Peter Rosenti, um, what is that thing? Python. It looks like a Benchmade Python. <laughs> I like a monochromatic look. Uh, this is all sort of a term Terminator theme, right? Pocket clip is gorgeous. Knife, the aluminum looks gorgeous. I mean, it, it, this, this is just very beautiful to me, but it really did kind of look like the Python with the blade shape, right? Um, so yeah, this stuck out to me. I just, I really like how this looks. I, I would absolutely love to carry something like this. I just think it's awesome. Very cool. So make sure you check out I Make Things on Instagram. Very much enjoyed this one. Uh, moving on here to number four. Oh boy. Crewware MG8020 etched and tumbled 16 <laughs> hours. Added a Bowie clip point. Uh, wait, Bowie clip. We'll get into that in here. There's three pictures, fuller and deployment hole. So this was one of, uh, originally, I would imagine this was the standard Bowie and he added a much more aggressive grind, which you guys can see in here, right? And then this was one that did not have the standard hole and he went, went ahead, it probably just came with thumb studs and he took that out completely and made a smaller, more spider co hole. All my, uh, I'm sorry, all mods uh, by me. So this person did this himself, which is very cool. Him or herself, honestly, I don't know. At sinister underscore knife underscore clips. Uh, let's take a look at some other pictures. Boy, um, yeah, that Bowie is very cool, very aggressive. Uh, really like this. I know a lot of people are just drooling right now because like, a, you know, a crew wear 8020. This is the full size uh, American 8020. <coughs> <laughs> like the one that I've got, except mine's in 20 CV. And it has this dark, looks like a maroon scale. And then in contrast with the the blade, this really dark finish on the blade, which I'm not sure. I mean, it, he had to have done that. Yeah, etched and tumbled. Um, so he did that himself. And then uh, finally right here. Yeah, that's just really, that's really cool looking. I like this a lot. Also, the background is gorgeous. This whole knife is really cool. Um very, I mean, you know, like I said, Demco has their own hole, but it's this thing has, you know, it's kind of like a Spider Co. Demco Hinderer Bowie all mashed together. 
Very cool. Big fan of that. So this would be knife number four. Uh, once again, at sinister underscore knife underscore clips. And then finally, oh boy, wow. Um, yeah, this is a Benchmade bug out in ladder damage steel. Uh, titanium scales with a C-Tech inlay from Death Grip. Uh, tie clip from Blades We Love and Anno from uh, ARK or AR Knife Mods, tie hardware and stainless lock bar from eBay. Uh, heavily, heavily customized. Um, I am a huge fan of the milling on the titanium on this one. Uh, I normally am not like, oh my gosh, C-Tech is amazing, but when the color contrasts right, when it's done well, in this case, you can see the C-Tech is laid into um, sort of the, the central area of the knife, and then they've carved around um, you know, one of the um, scale screws here. The inlay work looks absolutely perfect, and I think blue contrasts really well with titanium. I love the milling on the titanium, and then I think the knife, the final touch here. This knife is very busy in a good way. There's no, not one inch of this knife that's not doing something. From the crazy uh, ladder pattern on the damascus steel to the uh, diagonal texturing on the titanium uh, to the C-Tech inlay, this is just gorgeous all the way around. It's beautiful. And um, the funny thing is, is I'm not like, wow, the bug out. You know, I, truthfully, the bug out has always been kind of, eh, okay. But this has got to be one of the most beautiful Benchmade bug outs that I have ever seen. I had to had to include this one. So this will be <coughs> number five. Like I said, make sure to make your vote very clear, very distinct. Don't include more than one number in your reply. Even if you are saying with words, I am officially voting for number five, do not include text that includes other numbers because the system that determines what people are voting for can't handle more than one number. Um, so, you know, it makes it easier. Otherwise, you'd have to imagine I would be manually sorting through thousands of comments, which I don't know about you, but that 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 doesn't sound like something that's very fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm using an automated system to do it. Um, so, yeah, this is really, uh, this was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. We have two volumes left before we um, get to the final five winners and uh, find out who's going to win uh, the knife. And then also at the same time, we'll be grabbing, uh, the winner for, or drawing the name for the winner, um, for the, uh, voter prize as well. If you guys are watching this on the day that it is upload, uh, uploaded, um, I have a live stream tonight where I will likely be giving away another knife. So make sure you tune in to that. Usually I do them at seven o'clock central standard time. I will also update everybody on the time of my live streams in my community tab on YouTube. So you can check that out. Uh, I will also update people on my Instagram. Um, so make sure to follow me if you want to know exactly what's going on. Uh, thanks again to everybody who has submitted entries. This has been really fun. Um, if you have submitted something and I haven't taken a look at it yet, it does not mean that it's not being considered. I might just be saving it for um, the one of the final two volumes. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's upload, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.